first, what I want to get into is, see, I came from Sports Talk Radio, and I can see exactly what's going on. And you look at people that are in ESPN, NFL Network that are talking about this. They are so hamstrung, and I can see it now since I have made my switch from sports to politics. Thank God. But let me uh, tell you this first, and I think that you need to understand this to be able to understand what's going on. There was a story a couple of months ago. It came out, and the reaction at the time was not what it should have been. Al Sharpton, and I don't know if he still owes the back taxes, but Al Sharpton owed $4.7 million in back taxes from, I think it was 2011. It was before he became uh, on MSNBC. So this isn't even TV money. And everybody had the reaction at the time, look at Al, the fraud that he is, the man that screams that the rich need to pay their fair share, and he owes almost $5 million in back taxes. Here's my reaction. Remember, this is from before TV. Al Sharpton made enough money in a couple of years that he owed $5 million in taxes. And you know the Reverend Al is taking advantage of every possible loophole that he can to get his tax bill down to $5 million. So how much money did he make in a couple of years? What do you think, $12 million, $15 million, $18 million, $20 million? that he actually owed $5 million in back taxes? What was his profession? What, the man with the megaphone in the streets? He's a shakedown artist. That's all he is. And and Al's the best that there is. But I want to bring this point up to you, and in order to explain it, is just how powerful these organizations are, these supposed nonprofit special interest groups, and just how much money that you can make. They're money makers. That's why it's become an industry. And other businesses, other organizations, they see what's going on with the NFL right now. They don't want any parts of that. I would love to know how much money Major League Baseball or the NBA has forked over as donations to some of these nonprofit groups this month when they see what's going on. It's protection. It's hush money. And that's how they make their money. And, I I mean, do you want a better example than this? Donald Sterling? Nobody agrees with what he said. But do you realize that the month after that all came out, he was set to receive his second Lifetime Achievement Award from the NAACP? Donald Sterling. It's one of the most outrageous things I've ever heard in my life, that he was going to get a Lifetime Achievement Award, actually a second one, from the NAACP. People have known for 15 years what Donald Sterling is. And they've come after him, and they've kept it quiet because he's paid them off. And what do they do? They take that money, they give themselves big salaries because people know what they're capable of. Look at what they have manufactured here. And it's not I'm not talking about an outrage of Ray Rice. That's legit. But the commissioner, to only give a two-game suspension when it wasn't eight games, oh, yeah, he should get fired over that. So look at the power that they have. And they take that money, they pay themselves enormous salaries. Look at the Reverend Al. And then the rest of that money, they're a super PAC. They give it to the Democrat Party, which helps promote a bunch of crooks and shysters. And I can remember when I worked in Sports Talk Radio. You know my opinions. You know how they are. And I would hate when issues like this would come up in Sports Talk Radio when they're political. Number one, and even now, when I listen to Sports Talk Radio, I don't want to hear politics. You don't want politics on Sports Talk Radio. It's the last thing you want to get into. And then you have in the back of your head, you will never say what you really believe because of the whole they factor. Oh, there's a lot of people that they get very offended at this. And now that I make the switch to politics and I see what these groups are, they're a joke. It's fake manufactured campaigns, fake outrage. Because here's what they'll do. And Stephen A. Smith, I'm sure he'll get suspended again. Last time he actually had said something about the issue, he was suspended. And if he was on in a local city, here's what would happen. You don't realize this and if you're a sports talk radio host. And that's what you're hearing all the time now. If you say, well, you know, I don't think Roger Goodell should be uh, fired if you take a stance. These organizations, which are nothing more than arms of the Democrat Party, they will flood the station with phone calls and complaints, act like they're listeners when they're really not, act like they're offended when they're really not. They'll flood the program director with phone calls. They'll flood the station with emails. They'll start calling your sponsors and act like they're customers when they really aren't and say they're so offended that you would actually promote this show, that you would actually advertise on that show. Now we're no longer going to buy for you. Now we're no longer going to use your service. 
it's all fake. It's all made up. And when you're a sports talk radio host, you work in sports, you work in ESPN, you think that it's real. And you don't want to have to deal with this nonsense outrage. So you come up with opinions that basically you don't even really believe. And I think everybody understands my views politically. And I was trying to think back to a few years ago when I was doing sports talk that the Redskins issue, which I can tell you clear as day, and you can see now that nobody is offended by it. It's made up. It's even worse than this. There's even more money making. And I have some issues on that too, some stories as well. But back when I was working in sports talk radio, and I think it's CBS did it, and I'm not sure if Fox did it as well, but CBS has told their announcers that they have the option to not even call the, the team the Redskins if they're calling the game, which is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. But anyway, I have never in my life met anyone offended by the Redskins name, nor would I ever think that anybody is offended by the Redskins name. And I'm pretty passionate. I'd say that the Redskins should never change their name. And I'm trying to think that if I was a play-by-play guy, I don't even know if I would actually call them the Redskins now. Just because if I'm working in sports, I don't want to get political and I don't want to deal with this nonsense backlash that you're going to have from these special interest groups. So that's how powerful they are. And they push people into having opinions, when you don't understand it, that they don't even believe. And do you want a better example than this? Let me play for you. No, we know what Stephen A. Smith said. Let me play you the end of it. Here you have Skip Bayless. Now, I don't like Skip Bayless. But I'll say the man has an opinion on anything. He'll argue with anybody. He always has a side. He's not afraid to give us an opinion. That's all they do. They scream at each other all day. Now, Skip Bayless, who I believe is a product of this, he doesn't want to deal with the backlash. He doesn't want to get political. Now, he has nothing to say. And three minutes later, he was saying that Roger Goodell should be fired. Roger Goodell should lose his job over this, and Stephen A. Smith goes the other way. Let's play Skip's reaction. So I, I think that... I, you mean when Paul Tagli... Hold on, you mean when Paul Tagli was commissioner? No. Or the commissioner before him? No, not when... Everything wasn't on Roger Goodell's watch? Well, that's, that, it's 1,800 players. Thank you. I, One? I think this is going that's to have a, that, a major This man impact. deserves to lose his career because of this? He deserves to lose his career because of this. Because the National Organization for Women are going to come out and, and treat, try to treat Roger Goodell like he has committed domestic violence? Well, he, he made a mistake. He to needs to be he needs to be called in the cop before it. He needs to be called for the car, to the cop before it. I get that. But to lose his job, his career, he, to, see, to suffer right. the same punishment as he Ray Rice? Left. Skip has nothing. He has, here's the man that always has an opinion. He has nothing. Look at him. What does he say? He doesn't even know my point here. He has no idea why he thinks Roger Goodell should be fired. He's got nothing. The only reason he is because he thinks that there's this whole fake backlash manufactured by these special interest groups that there's just so many people that are offended. There's so many people that are outraged, and he doesn't want that backlash to go on him. He doesn't want to get political. Look at him. How can you call and say somebody should be fired and not have a reason for it? He's clueless absolutely clueless and that's what this is and it's not just in sports it's everywhere now these manufactured fake campaigns are the biggest arm of the democrat party they're putting a bunch of idiots in power that have no business being in power a bunch of crooks a bunch of criminals all because of the little agitators the special interest groups the organizers we've got one in the white house we've seen how well that's turned out haven't we and when i come back I want to get into Terry O'Neill, the one that's organizing this campaign that Roger Goodell needs to be fired too. She said it, and then the media went right with it. You know what, Terry Bear? I-, I think that if you want to live up to those expectations and those guidelines, I have a 20 times better case why you need to step down. Terry, you're an embarrassment. And I'll tell you why. I'll be right back. <laughs> 